mid-90s. And the thing that I wanted most in life was to work at the mall. Mostly because my frenemy, Jordan, worked at the mall, and I know she thought she was cooler than me, even though she had never kissed anyone before, and I had, while I was on vacation with my family in Canada. He's real. I mean, he's dead now, you can't look him up. But anyway, I begged my parents to let me get this job. And mostly I think they were just annoyed sort of at the prospect um, because they would have to stay sober long enough to drive me to and from work every day. Um, but you know, after a lot of high-pitched whining and a promise not to bother them during Matlock, they relented. And I became the newest sales associate at the Victoria's Secret in the Daytona Beach Mall. Now, as an adult looking back on this, allowing a minor to work in a lingerie store in a state that holds the record for most sex offenders per capita, uh, you know, is that, is that the best idea? Probably not. But it was Florida in the 90s, and my parents were wrecked on Zima and didn't give a shit. <laughs> so I was totally psyched for this job. Like, screw my geometry test. I was memorizing cup sizes and the number of hook and eye clo enclosures on like a padded plunge bra and the eight different ways you could wear a strapless convertible bra. I was nailing this. <laughs> and then it happened. My first customer. Um, do you work here? It, it was a man. There was a man in the store. They didn't train us for this. This wasn't in the training video. How am I going to measure his bra size? Where do I even put the measuring tape? Oh my god, this is terrible. And I'm just like trying to calm myself down. Like, just calm yourself down. Just do, do Amy, do what they told you to do. Um, sir, welcome to Victoria's Secret. Um, can I help you find something in your size? <laughs> no, I'm looking for a Christmas gift for my wife. Oh, your wife, of course, it's not for you, your wife, of course. <laughs> Can I, um, you know, is this for casual everyday wear or like for a special occasion? At this point, his eyes are darting around a lot and I can just tell he's looking for a way out and I'm just like staring at him like this deranged bra troll, like, <laughs> And then he's just like, you know, I'm just gonna look for something over here. I'm, I think I can handle this by myself. Okay, great, that's wonderful. Great, so now my first customer thinks he can just blow me off. You know, I may look like I'm 15 going on 11, but I am perfectly capable of helping a 40-year-old man pick out some supportive undergarments for his wife. So I see him like in the corner of the store, just like pawing at the trashiest piece of lingerie. You know, it's just like a piece of mesh with a hole in it. Like not something you're gonna purchase and then go fight for more women in the STEM fields. <laughs> so I go over to him and I'm like, sir, I see you found something. And he just kind of like gives me this look and he's like, yeah, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go bring it up to the register. Okay, great. Well, is it, is it the right size? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what size is. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go pay for it. Well, size is very important, sir. And, um, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, what size is your wife? Is she my size? And then there was this really long silence where he's probably considering the legal implications of responding to that question. And then it dawns on me. The upsell, I didn't do the upsell. I'm sorry, sir. I forgot to ask, did you want the matching panties? What? The matching panties that go with the nightgown? Um, or, or a thong? Does your wife prefer thongs? <clears throat> At this point, you know, I, I, I'm sure that he is... He is fully aware that this is some kind of to catch a predator sting operation. <laughs> that there's just going to be like a camera crew that just busts out from behind like a rack of garter belts and ruin his life. So I'm like, sir, I, I'm going to go back and get you some panties and thongs. I'll be right back. So I come back and I have a G string just like hanging off my little 15 year old arms. I'm like, sir, uh, sir, sir, he, he's gone. He vanished. As did my employment at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> you know, and well, working at the mall never propelled me into the echelons of popularity or even to the top of the weird kids. It did somehow convince Jordan of my fake Canadian boyfriend story. So at least I have that.